Hello YouTube, this is Link Air one and um, I'm doing a video of my Teledad deck. This is going to be my main deck as of now. I was working with the Jamas, but I said, hey, I have all the cards for a Teledad deck, except for a couple, but my Teledad deck is a little bit different than others. So let's do this. Start off, one Dark Armed. Uh, basically the main card of the deck uh, remove one dark spot heal, we'll blow out one card. Then we got one destiny here dogma. This is kind of what changes my deck because he needs a lot of D heroes, like for targets, for tributing. But I put him in here because of his effect. He can half your opponent's life points during the sta their standby phase after he's summoned. We got one, the dark creator. Like, see, say if I have like five darks in the grave. And, um, I can't summon Dark Armed and he's in my hand. I play him, because you have to have five or more. I can use his effect to remove one Dark, to special summon one Dark. And then I'll leave three for Dark Armed. One standard Gore's Emissary of Darkness. Uh, take a big hit. Drop him if you have an empty field. That means no spell and traps either. Uh, one... Destiny Hero Dasher, uh, Dogma Target, plus he's just really good. I usually remove him with the lure, and then you'll see why I did that. One Cyber Dragon, this is like the original version of Cyber Dragon, I can't believe I still have him. I'm trying to get the newer version though. Oh yeah, Swarming, when your opponent has a monster and you don't. Then, one Different Dimension, DDM, Different Dimension Master. That's why I remove, um, this is why I remove, uh, Dasher with the lure, or I could do it with, uh, uh, Dark Creator's effect. His effect is by sending one spell card from your hand, you can, to the graveyard, you can special summon one of your monsters that has been removed from play. Then we got two... Destiny here, Defenders, free 2000s, 2700 defense, the only flaw is that during your opponent's standby phase, if this card is face up, your opponent draws one extra card, kind of sucks, but I have a way that helps me with that effect too. We got two D Hero Fear Mongers, just to recycle your D Heroes, get the uh, dog out there and stuff. Uh, yeah. Two Destiny Hero Doom Lords. Uh, these are good. Can remove your opponent's uh, monsters two turns into the future. Good target for Dark Armed. Well, basically, this whole deck is kind of good for Dark Armed. Then we have uh, the last D Hero is D Hero Diamond Dude. Uh, there is a couple spells in here. I have more traps, but I'm going to swap some out. But, yeah, he's still pretty good. He's 1,400, so that's not bad. And we got, for the tuners, we got two Kribons. One's a holo. Can't really see them. Yeah, you can kind of see it. A good tuner. Not a real substitute for Plague Spreader, but he's still good. And we got one Psychic Commander. Wicked good tuner, level 3. And most of the little sevens are good now, like the seven synchros. Then we got two DD warrior ladies. What the heck? They're sticking to each other. Oh yep. Um, you just attack. Uh, say like if your opponent had like um, like a dark armed on there, you attack it with this card. During the damage step, you can remove this card and your opponent's monster from play. We got two Hiroshima Shadow Scout. Speed up the deck. Um, when he's flipped, you can you and your opponent both draw three cards, but you have to discard any magic cards. But there's no magic cards in this deck, so I don't have to worry about it. Then we got one Armageddon Knight to send to the grave. Uh, just stuff, and then maybe call the Haunted in or something, or a Dark Armed combo. And then we got one. Legendary Jujitsu Master. Basically like a built-in Phoenix 
Bolt's Wind Blast. Uh, when he when he's in defense position, doesn't have to be face down. Doesn't matter. Uh, he's attacked during the damage step. Even if there is no damage step, your opponent's monster goes back to the top of his deck, so that gets annoying for your opponent. We got one Grave Squirmer. He's a holo. He's kind of like a replacement for Necro. I don't really want to say he is, but. He kind of helps me because when he's destroyed by battle, you can destroy one card on the field. So, basically, your opponent attacks with a monster. And say she, she or he has a wicked other good monster on the field, you just destroy it. And then we got one Raiko, the late one hunter. I just put him in here for basically to speed up the deck and destroy one card. Uh, yeah. So... This deck is mainly kind of, you might think, Twilight, but I don't know. You you guys should tell me. And we got two Phoenixian and one Blast, and one card from your hand to the grave. Two, like, send that from your opponent's monster to his hand. And we got two Reckless Greeds, draw power, kind of. They're kind of replacements of D-Draws for me right now, cause since I'm, I'm kind of a budget player, so I'm trying to get some. Yep, so draw cards. Two Wobgoos, they're, they're kind of, they're not proxies for this deck, but they're kind of like my replacements, like my backups for Threatening Roar, because my other ones got lost. I have no idea where they are, but I found one. And then uh, I got D-Shield, Protect, uh, basically Defender, so you can't be destroyed by battle. That's pretty sick. One Appropriate. This is how I counter Destiny Hero Defender's effect. To see when your opponent draws outside his draw phase, which would be because you, uh, because of the here defender, uh, or Hiroshima Shadow Scout, you get to draw two cards. So that, that really speeds up the deck. And here's my threatening roar right here. See, I found it. Yep, you guys know what that does. Well, you got one trap jammer. Uh, this one's a hollow. You can't really tell though. But see, I use this for one reason. That is Mirror Force. I hate Mirror Force so much. This is what I do. Right? I play my monsters. I say, attack. I have this face up down on the field. Play this when he activates Mirror Force. Negates and destroyed it. That means I can chain it. And my monsters won't be destroyed. And the attack will still go through. We got one Torrential Staple. One bottomless trap hole. You guys know what that does. And we got one royal oppression for black wings and synchro summoning and fusion summoning. Basically, any special summoning of high monsters like dark arms or something. Bye bye, dark arms. The only flaw is that it works for your point too. And we got one called the haunted. This is kind of a combo, right? I'll use a um, Armageddon Knight. To send my gorge to the grave when I summon him, then I'll just have this in my hand, set it next turn. Hey, gorge, you're back. That's not bad. Oh, yeah, two alert of darknesses. You have to have at least two, it's like a rule. Uh, draw two cards, remove one dark. That works well in this act because, as I said before, I would remove um, Dasher. Then we got instead of one Rhoda, I want one retort. Uh, warrior returning alive just in case say I have four darts and one's a warrior or I can recycle D hero or I can just get one back so that's pretty good I will probably swap it out for a Rota though then we got one brain control then we got one magical mallet probably for dead hands I'm trying to get this deck really speedy because I like I, I used to play with black wings and I really like them because they're fast so just kind of Mix it like that. One different dimension capsule. Just in case I have a, like a perfect combo in my hand. Say I need dark arms, I'll just grab them with this. I'm trying to get two gold sarcos though. And we got one heavy storm. Staple. One MSD. I use this because a lot of people are playing Royal Decree now. So I'm trying to get rid of that. Okay, I have to quickly go through some...